Good morning and welcome to the Polytunnel this morning and uh, welcome aboard if you're new um, to the channel. I'm Todd and uh, today we're going to talk about trees, orchids, uh, propane heaters and cold damage and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, let's jump into it. Um, a couple people have asked me about some of my other trees. I didn't show them yesterday in Funky Tree Friday. So um, cinnamon tree. Here we go, that's been in the polytunnel and it's getting some new growth. Yeah, you can see the new growth coming. Really cool, I got that as a small seedling um, this past summer, so in 2020. So anyway, it's grown quite a bit. It's doing really good. It's just in regular my potting mix that I use for everything. And then somebody wanted to know about my cedar tree seedlings. Okay, well here's one. Okay, that's one in an individual pot. And I have a compot, a three gallon compot of three other um, seedlings. Um, cedar trees, eastern red cedar, can be a little tricky to um, germinate. Um, you have to uh, stratify them and you also have to soak them in um, a, a citric acid solution for a couple weeks and then pop them in the refrigerator after that and uh, yeah it's quite the process so anyway I did that with a I don't know how many a bunch of seed so anyway a bunch of them come up some of them didn't make it but I ended up with like three uh, three other trees outside and this one here inside and I quelled all the weaklings. There was a ton of weaklings that came up, so I just, you know, ditched them. I'm not going to try and grow weak, weak plants. So, you know, that's what my idea of doing good is. In nature, that happens, and uh, you know, that's what you do, or that's what I do anyway. Um, and when I grow these guys, so anyway, but I got one nice, real nice um, seedling here that's doing good. So, as far as orchids go, um, I had to do some emergency repots yesterday because um, I walked up in here and seen a bunch of yellow leaves. I don't know if it's from cold damage, nutrient deficiency, or what, but there's one over there. That is the Dendrobium spectabile that I got from Artstone Orchids. Um, you can see how degraded and yellow these leaves are. So yeah, I did an immediate repot on that. That is in lava rock. Um, and the old media was pretty spent on that too. So uh, yeah, and it's got a spike coming. So hopefully, um, I dug out all the old media and it stunk to high heaven. So I mean, real sour smelling. And uh, it had been in that pot for ages. So uh, yeah, it was time for a repot. So regardless of whether this spike here uh, forms and blooms is another story. Now this could be cold damage because the uh, heater, the propane heater, ran out during the one night of really cold temps. So, and I'm experiencing a lot of bud blast on other orchids. Yeah, you can see I'm gonna lose that whole spike and you can see the yellowing in the leaves here. That's all cold damage from um, the night the uh, heat ran out. Or the propane but uh, anyway beautiful blooms on that very fragrant too um, a day after uh, those opened um, they got really strong scented um, they're mostly scented with the uh, Rinka stylus parent so any anyway, yeah I can smell them from here actually so very very strong and right here we've got the Arach not Arachnus I've got Arachnus on the mind um, uh, and Grecum Crestwood forming. Going to have three blooms on that, I believe. So anyway, let me uh, show you some more cold damage. Here we go. Yeah, that's cold damage. It happens. All right, let me pause and I'll go show you the other repot. Okay, so yeah, I walked up in here yesterday morning and uh, seen this and I flipped out. Um, all this yellowing and stuff on the leaves here and uh, that's a really nice plant so anyway I did another 
emergency repot on that and I'm like the hell with the blooms um, it'll always rebloom again but uh, I wanted to uh, get this plant out of the media and it was bad also the media was really really real sucky on this I mean it was just horrible smelling so um, yeah so that got repotted too but that was I mean that that yellow caution sign was like right in my face yesterday so and you can see the the spotting spotting on the leaves too with that that nutrient deficiency so that's not good so anyway hopefully that plant will these plants will grow on to uh, do uh, better we can only hope sometimes they do sometimes they don't nothing is a hundred percent when you're growing so and due to all the cold these didn't last very long um, they're on their way out so and so are these that's normal though for these these last about a couple weeks that's uh, Ancestor Keyless Rothschildianus that's an African species um, these are doing good and these didn't even bloom um, <laughs> that's the uh, bubble fillum masters the anum. these are kind of hanging out so I did find a new bloom spike I don't know if I showed that in a video yes no I didn't because I didn't post a video yesterday with orchids so hold on let me go worm my way through this stuff um, so another orchid I found a spike in is this guy this little mini this is a uh, Rengus James G Coiner I forget the cross of what it is I, I'd have to look it up but uh, anyway I think it's got fastuosa in it but you can see a spike coming on that uh, my other one which was a fastuosa um, passed away a while back and uh, yeah it got crown rot from all the rain we were having so anyway that went south and is now gone maybe we can find another one down the road but this one's doing real good it's adhered to the mount so yeah that is Arangus James G Coiner a cross I got that from Kroll Smith speaking of yeah I guess we are gonna try and go um, to uh, Kroll Smith I, I was thinking maybe not but because I've got so many plants already that came in the mail but uh, yeah I think we're gonna try and go if possible depends on work situations and stuff like that and somebody asked uh, I didn't put up a picture of this in the video um, from the freebie from uh, uh, Orchid Classics okay I did look it up there's no pictures of this cross so, but the cross is, there you go, the Vandico Stylus Thailand Skies, I did find a pick of. Um, it's a dark purple blue uh, Vandacious type. So, you know, I'm sure that, I'm sure it's going to be similar to uh, Lou Sneary or Fuchs Ocean Spray, something of that nature. So, and also on... The um, thing with the uh, bandacious types, like uh, anything that's Renko stylus that's got in it is getting potted up. Just like the, sorry for that quick turn guys, I know some of you get seasick somewhat. But uh, yeah, anyway, it's going to be just like the uh, Renanopsis over there, I'm going to pot those. Um, just like that, I'm going to get some pots and uh, just start potting up anything that's got Renko stylus in it. Um, because they really do like that extra moisture um, and they don't like their roots disturbed so anything with uh, Renka stylus in it uh, you don't really want to disturb the roots um, some people put them in baskets I'm not going to do that I'm going to pop mine up which includes that one that's in bloom over there that is insanely fragrant so and this is the same one I believe I think that's the same one anyway pretty similar you can see some of the blood blast on this too from the cold see that so yeah anyway that's got two spikes coming out of it there's a cold damage there but uh, yeah that's gonna go in a pot and then I got another one up here I think this is the Renka stylus gigantia crossed with uh, Vanda cerulea and uh, 
Yep, those are going to go in a pot too, I believe. Maybe, we'll see. We might do a, a, a basket like this. So, and um, also, let me pause for a second. Something really cool is happening with my Catlia Iracolor. It's got a sheath coming in it. See that? Now, hopefully that will bloom. Um, this one here had a sheath, but it's not going to bloom, of course, because I got this bare root from Equigenera. So, but that is Catlia Iracolor. Um, I believe that's native to Colombia, Peru. So, it's supposed to be the most fragrant Catlia. And some people say it actually stinks. I don't know. I've never smelled it. So, but it's got a sheath. Hopefully that will bloom for us. Um, that would be nice. A lot of new growth coming on the um, Carlos Aranga Catlia. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff happening. And, uh, yeah, I promised to do some more um, videos on trees. I just have to get set up to do them. I've been so focused on getting this polytunnel um, situated. It's not even near where I want it or how I want it um, because of the early cold that came in. So, yeah, you know, things happen where it just uh, throws a wrench in your plans and you have to deal with it. So we had to um, get the plants in here on the fly um, so they do not get uh, killed by the cold. So, and we're still getting cold damage, so, and it's getting warm in here, so I think I can kill my heater, and uh, I'm going to have to move the propane in. So that's what's going to happen is um, the electric on the least cool days, um, or, you know, nights in the 50s and 40s, I'll use the electric. Nights in the 30s, what I will do is use the propane. That will save me on the propane, because we only got like two, three days out of a tank. On the propane so um, yeah I got to be a little more conservative with that so um, I'm gonna move this out and the propane in because it's going into the 30s tonight so other news I'm doing collab videos with uh, Nina and honeybees and orchids and a couple other channels so and it's called collab care hashtag collab care so anywho um, yeah, that's what's going to be happening. Uh, Nina, that's Ninja Orchid. So, anywho, um, that's what's in the works and in the plans. I'm going to um, get in touch with Nina and talk to her and see when we're going to do this. I think the first one is going to be uh, Dendrobium anosmums. So, which I've got one right over there with all the yellow leaves. And we'll be discussing the care and stuff on that. So, and mine should be getting ready to bloom here real soon. So, and we'll end up here with the Arachnus. This is Arachnus, Arachnus Maggie Wee, Red Ribbon. And look at those spikes coming. And there's a wingless wasp up in there too. Don't want to get that, but yeah, check that out. Now these spikes will get two to three feet long. And there's a couple more back here also that's uh, popping out. There's one on this big giant cakey here, you can see, and there's another one right there. Yeah. Wow, this thing is so fragrant. Too bad they're blasting, though. Um, I don't know how to describe the scent on that. It's kind of uh, citrus, but uh, uh, kind of a, a cleaner. Some kind of I don't I don't know how to describe it kind of citrusy cleaner kind of scent to it but uh, they're beautiful nonetheless too bad they're blasting so anyway that's gonna wrap this up I'll show you the seed pods on the um, orchid here that is uh, Brassavola subulifolia and I've also got a seed pod coming on my Brassavola flagellaris and we'll be looking forward to the blooms on uh, Kyla Quintal by Polysema. So, alrighty guys, until next time, love and peace. You keep it growing, and we will see you on the flip side. And also got some new growth coming on that guy. Alright guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.